this is Miss Hanley at Ratcliffe Elementary School and we're here with my fourth grade class and today we're going to be oceanographers learning about the ocean floor. So what we're learning today is the different geological properties and the depth of, how the, of the depth of the ocean and how that affects different interactions between different organisms. Why we're learning, we're learning this so that we can just understand the features of the ocean floor and how the relative depths of different parts of the ocean. And so today we're going to be building a model. It's going to be a 3D model. Um, and we're going to be labeling and describing the major features of the ocean floor. All right. So with your partners, you have a piece of paper on your desk that looks like this. Okay, so go ahead and find that. All right, this is a review. So you and your partner at this time take about a couple seconds and go ahead and just fill in the blanks of each different property. So you have an, um, an answer key on, no, writing. Okay? So filling in the blanks. Where each one goes. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then in a second, we're going to check to see if we're right. So, working together to fill this in. All right, about 10 seconds. Okay, I'll give groups a couple more seconds to go ahead and fill this in. So you're filling in next to the blank. So what's here, what's here? So there should be something next to each arrow. So when you're standing up here, what is that? No. And remember, think about it as, so here you have the ocean floor. Right here is if you're standing on the beach, right? So here I have my beach. I'm picturing myself a day at the beach, having fun. Right here I'm walking into the water, okay? So remember what's happening here as I'm going down further and further, okay? Okay, if you don't have it all filled in, that's okay. We're just double checking, okay? So when we're sitting, we already said, here, I'm on the beach, right? I'm on my coast, another word for beach. I'm having fun, I'm playing in the sand, but I'm a little hot, so I'm gonna start going in the water. When I'm standing in the water right here in the waves, what is this part? Drawn. My continental shelf, so check your paper and make sure that you have Continental shelf is first. And as I'm walking through the waves, what's happening as I'm going out further and further, Malia? The continental slope. Yeah, and what's happening on my slope? It was, you go deeper. It's getting deeper and deeper, right? Yeah. Okay. Eventually, I'm not, obviously not, it drops off, right? Yeah. Okay, so next I have my continental slope. It's sloping down. Everyone show me a slope. Slope, right? Okay. So go ahead and make sure you have continental slope. Okay. And at the bottom of my slope, all that sediment is falling, that sand, those shells. And it's starting to come back up a little bit and it makes a rise, my continental rise. And remember, when I'm saying that word continental, it means I'm still connecting to a continent, right? Yes. Continent, so land, right? Okay. Continental rise. I'm going to go back for a second because this one doesn't have it on there. And what are these? It's going down into my ocean floor. What is that, Manaya? A trench. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you have trench. Trench is 
deep, 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 deep down in the ocean floor. When we were researching our sea creatures, some of them live deep, deep, deep down in there, right? All right. And then the last one, things are starting to become flat. Okay, what would that be, Nyla? Yeah, the abyssal plain, just plain, flat ocean floor. Okay. All right, so at this point, we're all on the same page about where everything is. Yes, thumbs up, thumbs down, if we're, thumbs up. Okay, we've been talking about the ocean floor, we've been talking about the geological features, we've been talking about the different depths, what happens at each level, right? We know about the animals that live there, the organisms, how they interact. So today, today, we're gonna be taking our water bottle, okay, it's half a water bottle, and we're going to be constructing a model. Remember when we watched that video of that, she was an oceanographer, a scientist, and they took those 3D images and she went down in the ocean floor and they took all the, you remember? And they learned more about the ocean floor that way and what lives there. Kind of like this. So it almost looks 3D-ish, right? So you're going to be doing that today. So each group has a half of a water bottle. You're going to be getting some clay, and I will say this clay is pretty hard, okay, so you really got to work with it, okay? It's not like Play-Doh, you really kind of got to mold it. And you're going to be starting, so each group's going to get one, and you're going to be starting, this is your coastal plain, okay? Yeah. Alright, so this section is your coastal plain. Not yet your coastal plain, the coast, right? The beach, okay? All right. So you can even line it up, use your diagram to help you. You can even line it up. All right, so I'm gonna come around. Once you're done building your model, you have everything on here. Continental shelf, continental slope, continental rise, trenches, abyssal plain, everything, okay? Once you have all of that featured, raise your hand, and I'm gonna come around with some toothpicks and sticky notes. And you're gonna be labeling them. So you're just gonna make like a little flag. So if I have my continental rise, I'm just gonna be making a little sticky note. Okay? All right, eyes on me for just a second. Make sure you're paying attention to the timer, okay? All right, so that's why I'm saying groups might, you might want to break it apart. Groups might want to kind of work on different parts at different times and then put them together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yep. Yeah, you might want to take it off if you can. It definitely is easier to mold in smaller pieces. Okay, so if you take, if you break it apart into smaller pieces, it's easier to make what you're trying to make. Mm -hmm. And remember, there's no more. Each group gets the same amount, okay? It's going to get stuck to my desk, though. It already got stuck to my dish. So do you guys know what each person is making? We're making this. What are you making? But which one? You're not making water. You're making the ocean floor only. It's as if you took the water out. So who's making the continental rise? Okay, who's making the continental slope? Ronald, what are you doing? Continent, that's not the continental shelf. Remember, what is it when it's really flat? You already, mm -hmm. The abyssal plane. That's continental shelf, continental slope, continental rise. 
All right, so based on time, I would start putting stuff into your, please put that away. All right. I'm much slow. All right, so that's gonna be slope. Continental rise. And then you go to the trench. Okay. You ready to make your? Yeah. Okay, so I have some groups that are already putting in their toothpicks. Okay. The labels. Mm -hmm. Build it up right here. Because this is your abyssal plane where it's flat, right? So you need to put some trenches in there. Sloping down, right? This down here is your ocean floor. So it doesn't start there, right? When you're at the beach, you don't automatically just walk down all the way to the ocean floor, right? So you kind of got to start here and slope down. Remember, a trench goes down into it. This looks like more like it would be a volcano coming up out of the water, which happens, right? Okay, but remember, a trench would be down in your, it goes down, not up. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have talked about, like, in the water, volcanoes come up, right? Islands come up. That's fine. Just make sure you label what that is. Where's your, where's the rise? Where's your slope? Where's your, like, coast? Where's the shelf? Right now, it just looks all flat. See? So it looks like all this is just flat, but there's this up here. So you're the ones coming down. Yeah. It's even deeper than the ocean floor. You are stuck with just a flat ocean floor. Go ahead and look. There's a starting all the way up here. And then it's coming down. Then they have trench, trenches. So right now, if you just have flat blue at the bottom, that's fine. But that's just your ocean floor. So you need to add everything else now. You've got your abyssal plane down. Where's everything else? Thank you for visiting our class today. We hope you learned a little bit about ocean floors. Go away!